Okay, we're back. Part two, UV replacement bulb, replacing the UV bulb. Now, I've designed my system. I built, I did all the plumbing in the house by myself. You know, it's a big house, six washrooms, and I saved a fortune by doing my own plumbing. But I designed this so I could change it. So I have a ball valve before the UV, and uh, the water comes in from the pump, goes through the filters, and then to the rest of the system. And I have a shutoff valve on both sides. So I can bleed off the pressure right here. Once the pressure is bled off, I can uh, pop off the filters, which I'll attempt to do live on YouTube. Now, this is something that, uh, it's a live event. Now these filters are dirty because I haven't changed them in a long time. But what will happen is the uh, water will drain out. Now it will take a while to bleed down here because, uh, you know, it's a, it, there's nothing, uh, the air's not, the seal's not broken at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this off, it's unplugged, make sure there's no electricity. Pull the bulb out. Now this bulb I'll touch because it's shot anyway. So here's the bulb coming out. Now I could just put the new bulb in there. But usually I like to take it apart and clean it because it gets dirty. So I'm going to uh, take it apart. As soon as I break this, then the water really starts flowing out. As soon as the seal's broken, the water's streaming out. Now I do have a floor drain right here. I'm catching it in this bucket, but there is a floor drain. And it's super dry down here, so the water's not going to go anywhere. But I do want to clean it all out. Oh yeah, look, there it is. Now the thing is, if I just put in the new uh, the new filter, it wouldn't work very well. Now this thing can break really easily, and they're not cheap to replace. The bulb is ninety-four dollars, but this is not cheap either. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rag and clean it off, so that uh, once I get the new bulb in there, it'll actually the water passes over this glass, and you obviously want to get maximum amount of UV onto the water. The water is flowing through this chamber and the bulb is sitting in there so if it's all covered in dirt it's like having sunglasses on. I mean obviously you're not going to get maximum exposure and you're not going to kill all the germs. So it, the package does come with new o-rings so I'm going to pull it out of here without breaking it hopefully. I broke one a few years ago I think it was like another $94. So there, I've got it out now. I'll put on the new O-ring after I clean it. And then uh, I'll put some plumber's goop along here. And seal it all back up. So there, yeah, the O-ring is, uh, it's compressed, it's shot. Might as well change it. I've got a free one that came with it. Well, it's free, $94 at Moats. Again, if you live on Salt Spring Island, or it doesn't matter where you live, but you got to support your small little independent hardware stores. Because if those little stores close down, we'll be at the mercy of the big box super stores where, uh, you know, you go in and you want something and there's, you know, there's nobody working there. One guy in a red vest that stocks shelves and doesn't know anything. So I always try to support the small independent hardware stores because I find you get better customer satisfaction. So anyways, I'm just going to stop the tape there, and we'll continue with the part four after I get this clean, or it'll be part three. Scott Simmons, Salt Spring Island, just cleaning the... look at the color of that thing, hey? Looks like one of those shooter things. A big one like they have in Germany.